Gravity wins, a star detonates. This is a supernova. For stars more than eight times the mass of our sun, this is their inevitable, violent end. After millions of years of fusing lighter elements into heavier ones, the star builds up a core of solid iron. Unlike all the elements before it, fusing iron consumes energy instead of releasing it. The star's internal furnace shuts down. With no outward pressure from fusion to counteract its own immense gravity, the core collapses catastrophically in less than a second a sphere the size of Earth is crushed down to a city-sized ball of ultra-dense matter. This new incredibly dense core now a neutron star rebounds. It unleashes a titanic shockwave and a flood of ghostly particles called neutrinos. This shockwave slams into the stars in falling outer layers, stalls, and is then re-energized by the neutrinos. The revived shockwave tears the star apart from the inside out. This is a Type II supernova. The explosion is so powerful it triggers a final, frantic burst of nuclear fusion in the outbound material. In these fleeting moments, elements heavier than iron are forged. The extreme conditions create a process known as rapid neutron capture, or the R process. Atomic nuclei are bombarded with a dense storm of neutrons, creating the universe's rarest and most precious heavy elements, like gold, platinum, and uranium. For a few brilliant days or weeks the light from this single explosion can outshine an entire galaxy containing billions of stars. This brilliant flash a star's death cry travels across space-time, visible across the cosmos. The shape of this light curve over time helps astronomers classify the supernova and understand the star that created it. Left behind at the heart of the explosion is a compact remnant, either a rapidly spinning neutron star or, if the original star was massive enough, a black hole. A famous example is Supernova 1987A, located in a nearby galaxy. Its expanding shockwave is still colliding with a ring of gas ejected by the star before it died. These collisions create brilliant hotspots, lighting up the cosmic crime scene. Crucially, neutrinos from SN 1987A were detected on Earth, providing direct proof of the core collapse theory. The supernova's metal-rich debris spreads far and wide, seeding the galaxy with the raw materials for new creation. These elements enrich vast clouds of gas and dust, which will eventually collapse to form the next generation of stars and planets. The gold in your jewelry was forged in the heart of a dying star billions of years ago. Destruction becomes creation. Subscribe for more space science.